All right, so I'm. I, all right, so I am in Kona, Hawaii, and I've been here for the wife's been. Uh, all right, so I'm here at. Kona, <laughs> I'm here in. So I'm currently in Kona, Hawaii, and I've been here with the wife. She works for a company, a US company called doTERRA. They do essential oils, and the conference is finished. So yesterday I went to the local bike shop here in Kona. Bike Works, it's called. Got myself a Felt AR, one of their aero road bikes. And I'm gonna do, when in Rome, the Kona Ironman course, the cycling part of it. This is about 180 Ks, and I thought I'd bring you along on the ride. housekeeping things as we get going number one this is a uh, higher helmet and I can't get the strap in I've got to tuck it in underneath as you can see so if it pops out that's the reason why I know there's a as this channel grows there's a few people out there that like to pick up on some things to all my American Canadian and whoever drives on the other side of the road or the right side of the road according to you today I'm finally riding my bike on the right side of the road and to all my other subscribers Aussies UK Kiwis today I might actually die but no in all seriousness the beauty of this course is that it's a straight line pretty much so I've got a huge shoulder in the road here I just have to make sure I don't decide to turn left or right for whatever bizarre reason and end up on the other side of the road and I should be right. Housekeeping items. Left my cycling glasses back home in Australia, so I've got these casual ones on. Hope that's all right. And I don't have a bike computer today, so I'm gonna to have to harness my inner Bruce Lee to don't think there. So this ride is sorely needed. You know, Christmas Day, you've got a bit of a, a license to do what you want, eat like a pig. I know Christmas is still fresh in everyone's mind. Well, I feel like the same applies when you go overseas, but even more so when you go to the US. The amount of deep fried food that I've eaten, massive juicy hamburgers. Seriously, I've been a pig. So this 180Ks is sorely needed. about 50 k's in the ride then and those two black coffees that I had this morning I didn't go to the bathroom I didn't have the opportunity to it came on real strong then and luckily I have to be riding past a restroom here if it wasn't for that I reckon I would have been jumping behind some volcanic rock and unleashing but thankfully restrooms So 
what's kind of interesting about this course, I actually, we drove out here probably about four or five days ago for a, an activity with the doTERRA conference. And there are probably much more scenic rides you, you could do on Kona, going up hills near the vo volcano and around there. But I was, just, I was just drawn to do Kona, the, the Ironman route. And what happens is you're sort of going along sort of like very desolate, it's like volcanic rock. And we heard uh, from a bus driver that that part of Kona that we sort of just went through is the 10th driest part of land in the world. Reason being the terrain here, the way the mountains and the volcano, they push the wind, they push the clouds away from certain parts of the island, the one we just went down. And as a result, other parts of the island get an absolute crap load of rain. So what we're gonna see shortly is the terrain, it changes significantly. So I've just gone about three or four mile, that's right, I'm speaking the American lingo now, uh, past the main town where the Iron Man turns. And the reason why I wanted to go a little bit further, I'm gonna stop now because the shoulder and the road's getting quite bad, but uh, like the terrain now, I don't know if you've seen that movie uh, Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger where he's fighting an alien in the jungle. It's literally like that. It's like full blown jungle terrain. It, once the houses stop, it's just complete jungle. and. Literally, what was it, maybe 15, 20 mile that way, it's completely barren, just volcanic rock. And you can see right here, like the clouds sort of surround the main town and that sort of area that I was cycling on back there. But as you can see, it's pretty dark here. They're like rain clouds here. So the contrast in the environment in Kona, <coughs> in Kona, sorry, I just had a little nut bar, <coughs> nut bar as you can tell is quite unbelievable. So I've just bumped into one of the locals here and he's going to tell me the exact pronunciation of the town. Ah, what is it? It's called Havi. Havi. H-A-W-I, Havi. Yeah, okay. And you've grown up, you're born and raised. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Well, where does the Iron Man turn? Iron Man. The Iron Man. You know how the Iron Man calls? Oh, the Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. The, sorry. It turns around right here. Oh, right here. Yeah, right out here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. What happens in the town when the Iron Man's on? Normally the park, hundreds of people. Yeah. It's beautiful. You yeah, got, cool. You, you got to see this thing, man. Yeah. It's really nice, yeah. All right, man. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> I look like a giant mushroom head. That's what happens when you hire helmets. I reckon now, if you were doing the Iron Man, I'm looking ahead of me, I must be channeling my inner Bruce Lee, approaching about 90 mile, what's that, 130, 140 kilometers, and I'm looking ahead of me, and it's just sort of very barren, straight roads. And if you were doing the Iron Man right now, Knowing that you had a marathon ahead of you, woof, mind games would be going on right now.
right, so just handed the felt back, done and dusted, riding the Kona Ironman track, call it a track, route, I'm not really sure, but anyway, really enjoyed that, hope you did too, and I'll catch you all in the next video.